And we begin tonight with a gun battle outside a Coleraine Township bar caught on camera. Cincinnati firefighter identified as one as the, of the gunmen. Thanks for joining us here at 5. I'm Mike Dardis. And good evening to you. I'm Sheree Palello. Tonight, for the very first time, we are hearing from his attorney, and he says uh, what exactly happened that night that his client fired in self-defense. WLWT News Science Karen Johnson live for us outside of the Claremont, or excuse me, the Hamilton County Courthouse tonight. Hi, Karen. Hey, Sheree, uh, that's right. Mike Ogletree was arraigned today on four counts of felonious assault. His attorney entered a not guilty plea and said his client fired his gun to protect himself. A barrage of bullets outside a Colerain Township bar was followed by more gunfire. Two people were shot, a man who was grazed in the head by a bullet and a woman, an innocent bystander, was shot in the arm. I mean, to my understanding, is still lodged there. Uh, she attempted to have surgery, but they could not remove it. Video of the shooting obtained by WLWT shows two gunmen. One was identified by Colerain police as 36-year-old Mac Ogletree, a Cincinnati firefighter. My client is a career firefighter. He has absolutely no criminal record. During Ogletree's video arraignment, his attorney, Brandon Fox, said his client fired his gun to protect himself after an argument outside the 629 sports bar. This is a self-defense case. My client's a legal CCW owner. He was fired upon by a convicted felon. He returned fire. It's all on video. The prosecutor's story, a bit different. The defendant comes up with a gun in his hand, starts yelling at them, points the firearm in the direction. Um, and then starts shooting the firearm. And at that point, the male victim produces his own firearm and returns fire. In these videos, it is not clear which shooter is Ogletree. Prosecutors say police identified him as one of the gunmen by tracing the license plate of the car he took off in. And we checked today. We did not find any records of the second gunman being charged yet in this case. I did reach out to Coleraine Township Police, but they said they could not comment at this time because it is an ongoing investigation. As for Ogletree's employment status with the Cincinnati Fire Department, I'm told he has been placed on unpaid leave pending the outcome of the investigation. Reporting live tonight downtown, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5.